When you ask yourself these days what the greatest threats to human existence on planet Earth are, you probably think of nuclear war, global warming, climate change, or a large and long-lasting pandemic. But assuming we could actually overcome all of these challenges, are we really safe in the long run? Life on our blue planet only seems safe as long as we are unaware of all the potential dangers lurking out in space. The cosmic catastrophes, outlined only briefly here in this video, are just some of the few ways in which the continued existence of humanity could be seriously threatened or even fully extinguished. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and be excited about the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. High energy solar flares. When wind turns to storm, it's dangerous. Our sun is far from being as peaceful a star as you might initially think. It permanently generates very strong magnetic fields, which are responsible for impressive sunspots, sometimes many times larger than the Earth. It also constantly emits a stream of particles and radiation with the solar wind. As long as this wind is kept in check by the Earth's magnetic field, it can produce beautiful northern or southern auroral lights. However, if it becomes stronger, it is quite capable of having a lasting effect on radio communications or causing power outages. The strongest magnetic solar storm ever documented hit the Earth in late August to early September 1859. Named after the English astronomer and solar scientist Richard Carrington, 1826 to 1875, the event, known as the Carrington Event, caused enormous interference to numerous electrical devices at the time. The very high voltages in telegraph lines caused strips of paper to catch fire in many places due to sparks in the receiving equipment. According to research, comparable events must have occurred several times in the past, but mankind has always survived so far. But only in recent years have we become completely dependent on electronic devices. The truth is that we would suffer greatly if we underestimated the dangers of another Carrington or more powerful event. Even if it did not wipe out humanity immediately, it could pose an immense challenge. In one fell swoop, there would be no more electricity, heating, air conditioning, GPS, and no more internet. Tons of food and medicine would spoil in the blink of an eye. Asteroid Impact The larger the celestial body, the greater the danger for us. We are now well aware of the dangers that asteroid impacts could pose to the continued survival of humanity in the future. After all, it's now considered scientifically largely certain that this contributed to the final extinction of the dinosaurs on Earth millions of years ago. Serious research in recent decades has alerted us to the large number of space rocks in our solar system that could pose a threat. However, we are already in the early stages of planning and developing systems to protect us from some of the smaller asteroids that could strike us. But against the larger and more rare ones, we would probably be quite helpless, even with technically sophisticated and highly advanced protective shields. While they would not necessarily and in all cases destroy the Earth or even make it uninhabitable forever, they could severely limit and restrict the habitats available to humanity by causing huge tidal waves or tsunamis, as well as permanent large-scale fires and many other threatening natural disasters, such as a sudden cooling of temperatures around the globe due to a so-called impact winter. Given the largest prehistoric impact craters on Earth, such as the Vredefert, 300 kilometers in South Africa, as well as the Sudbury Basin, 250 kilometers in southern Ontario province in Canada, and the Papagai Crater, 100 kilometers in northern Siberia, and the more than 1,100 asteroids with a critical size of more than 500 meters in diameter in Earth's orbit, the risk of new impacts is at least theoretical. Expanding Sun The end of the Earth is certain, but we will not witness it. While the cosmic hazards described so far could occur with a low, albeit certain probability when the dice are rolled, we know with certainty that the Sun will end its life in pretty much exactly 7.72 billion years. 
At that time, it will shed its outer shell as well as its hydrogen and helium fusion zones, producing a planetary nebula that will end up as a stellar remnant known as a white dwarf. But humanity will not live to see these final stages of the yellow planet. The older the sun, the cooler and larger it will become. If it belongs to the star giants, on one distant day, it will be big enough to swallow both Mercury and Venus completely. Our Earth may still appear to be safe at that time, but the Sun will then also generate an extremely strong solar wind, or rather a solar flare or so-called coronal mass ejection, which will slow down the rotation of the Earth. As a result, in about 7.59 billion years, our planet will spiral into the outer layers of the greatly expanded dying star, melting away irretrievably long after our much earlier and probable extinction. Gamma ray bursts, theoretically deadly horror scenario, but only slightly probable. Extremely strong energy bursts caused by binary star systems, two stars orbiting a common center, or a supernova, exploding stars, are also called gamma ray bursts in the astronomical community. Also known as the gamma ray burst, first observed by a US surveillance satellite in 1967, some researchers suspect that such a phenomenon about 443 million years ago may have led to one of the largest extinctions of life in Earth's history to date. As a result of a gamma ray burst in the Milky Way, the sun's ultraviolet radiation is thought to have penetrated the uppermost layers of the oceans at that time and killed off living organisms there near the surface of the water. These bursts of energy are so powerful because they concentrate their energy into a narrow beam that lasts no longer than seconds or minutes. The resulting harsh ultraviolet radiation from the sun could also severely damage the Earth's ozone layer in the future if a gamma ray burst were to occur about 500 light years away, as well as alter the climate and atmosphere over the long term. A direct and probable consequence would be the collapse of global production and supply of our food. The ensuing mass extinction could shrink the Earth's population to as low as 10% of its current size. The star system WR-104, discovered in 1998 and classified as a so-called Wolf Riot star, in which astronomers suspect the possibility of such an outburst, is around 5,200 to 7,500 light-years away, which is so far from the Earth that such a ray would probably miss us. Near-Earth Supernova the giant star known from movies and novels is harmless. Supernova explosions, which occur when a star reaches the end of its life, occur in our Milky Way on average once or twice every 100 years. It is more likely, according to current research, that they occur closer to the dense center of the Milky Way, and we are about two-thirds of the way from its center, so that wouldn't be too bad. So can we expect such a near-Earth supernova in the near future? Also known as the Shoulder Star of Orion and belonging to the class of red supergiants, the star Betelgeuse, which is nearing the end of its life, is only 460 to 650 light-years away. It could potentially become dangerous now, as soon as in the next 1,000 years, or as late as in the next few million years. Fortunately, however, astronomers have already found that such a supernova and its gamma rays, as a threat to completely destroy our ozone layer, would have to occur at least 50 light years from the Earth for nitrogen to be converted to nitrogen oxides and cause significant or irreversible damage. So it seems that this giant star Betelgeuse, a thousand times the diameter of the Sun, probably shouldn't pose too much of a problem for our survival. Stars on the move, the solar sphere will protect us for tens of thousands of years. In the meantime, a wandering star on its way through the Milky Way could come so close to our sun that it would interact with the rocky Oort cloud, or Opic Oort cloud, at the edge of the solar system, the source of our comets. This could lead to an increased likelihood of a giant comet crashing to Earth. However, that would be just another roll of the dice. The sun itself follows a path through the Milky Way that takes us through more or less dense patches of interstellar gas. Currently, we're in a rather less dense bubble created by a supernova. The solar wind and the sun's magnetic field help create a bubble-like region known as the heliosphere, or solar sphere, 
around our solar system that shields us from interactions with the interstellar medium. If we leave this region in about 20,000 to 50,000 years, our heliosphere could become much less effective and expose the Earth. We would potentially encounter increased climate change that would make life more difficult, if not impossible, for humanity. No matter what may happen to the Earth in the distant future, life goes on. The end of humanity on Earth is a given, but it's not something that should make us crawl under the table in despair. Rather, it's something we cannot change, much like the fact that our lives have a definite beginning with birth and an equal end with death. It's what defines us and makes us realize that the only thing we can do is to make the most of our time here on Earth. Especially when we know that the Earth needs a careful balance to sustain humanity. All of the above scenarios hold possible destruction, but they definitely also offer extensive beauty and wonder. In many cases, they bring forth that which enabled us to be created. So instead of looking up at the night sky with worry and wondering what will kill us next, let's marvel at the depth of space, the wonders within it, and the sublime nature of the entire universe. Let space inspire you and write us here about the importance of the cosmos to your personal life.